Welcome, welcome back, everybody. Just clicking around here, getting things started. Welcome back to Friday Night Frights. Oh, yeah. It is Lost in Vivo Episode 3. Let me sip my coffee. Don't run, don't run. Where are you, where are you? Don't run. So if you recall from last week, Episode 2, it scared the ever-living shit out of me. <laughs> Those little worm guys. And so... I'm not really sure what's in store for us tonight, but I made a decision that tonight will... I'll we'll turn that down just a little bit. Tonight will likely be the uh, the last night we're going to play the game, so I'm not sure if we're close to the end or not, but it's about time to, to move on to a new horror game. Friday Night Frights is not always about finishing the games. Uh, all he talks is about how ugly I've become. How ugly I'm going to be. Oh, I remember this one. This is where we discovered this may be about... Somebody who got pregnant? I don't have a map of this area. Okay. I need to catch I need to catch my bearings here. I don't remember exactly what we, uh, what we were up to before I finished the episode. Hmm. I do kind of remember this room, though. I think this is where we ended up. I think. This radio not saying anything. Alright, well. Let's see what's behind door number one, Monty. Hopefully not more worms. I swear to God with them worms. Probably need to reload here. Oh, that's first person. Let's reload R. R. Okay. Ooh. Aiming down the sights, baby. We can switch to uh a little knifey knife. Okay. Those seem to be pretty effective. I think they were one shotting the worms. Alright. My dog responded? Nope. No doggo. That's too bad. Oh. Oh dear. Well, the music's back on. Are we in one of those infinite hallway situations? I'm gonna keep going this way. With a vague face. The vaguely ghost face. We may be uh, up in a puzzle right now. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's nice. Got some Ruger ammo. Might need that when the monsters come calling. Interesting. Our face is pretty much gone. Now we have a face of another girl over here. Okay. I'm just going to keep picking door number one. Unless we see anything definitive that tells us that we should we should not pick door number one. We'll see how it goes. Oh, well, she's just new. Okay. Eat. Mmm. Feels kind of sus. I don't know. Can I open these? No. There's a lot of blood in here. And parts. What do I do? I just keep moving? Should I eat it? I'll try eating it and see what happens. Chomp chomp. Uh oh. Well... Oh, I can go through anyways. Thought that was barred off. Apparently not. Unless it was supposed to be barred off and the game messed up. I ate the apple and I got mo ammo. Okay. Try sprinting through here. This is a long ass hallway. Mo apples. Okay. There's a green light over here by the toilet some buggies can't take the buggies out 
I don't think I can. Can I eat again? Count. Oh, yeah, they did it again. And then again, I can just walk right through. Chomping on these apples. Wishish. Shotgun ammo. Man, they are, uh, we're gonna, it's a bit of a boss fountain, it feels like. I'm not into that. Have we fought any bosses? We fought, like, lone enemies or whatever? I'm gonna try going through without eating the apple and see what happens. See if it's any different. It's already, like, slightly different? Oh. Alright. Let's go! Yeah. How we doing on health? It got us. It nicked us a little bit, but that's okay. We're dealing. We got red lights. Man, that first worm. I went back and watched the video. I was like, it's funny. I didn't have uh, as big of an expression as I thought I would because I was like legit frightened. I was like, yeah, nope. I think it was just the sound in my ear coupled with... um. The fact that I didn't know where the monster was coming from at first. I think that first monster, I don't know if it's designed to or not. I think it kind of clips through the wall and you can't see it, which is why you gotta... Oh, proof positive this thing loops, I guess. Sort of. I feel like I should continue not to eat the apple. Oh. Oh, that sucks. I don't like that. Oh, I picked the baby up. Okay. Oh, man. Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay. That was a little frightening. Let me just calm down for a second. I think it was just coincidental that I whistled and this happened. I think it was supposed to happen this way, but... Yikes, man. We did fight a boss last episode, didn't we? It was like an unwinnable boss. And I thought that it had killed my save. And I was like, real upset. Alright, let's go through here. Any whistle. No doggos. We got sad piano. some sounds here. Sounds like it's getting closer, whatever it is. Hope that's just the soundtrack. Okay, it is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I waited in the dark for so long, I lashed out against anyone who got close, but someone kept pushing me into the light. It hurt me for a while. It doesn't hurt anymore. Okay. Oots, 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 oots. Oh, that's an interesting image. Looks like angels or something. Circling a, uh, like a path to the afterlife, maybe? We cut that music off real fast, didn't we? OK. 
Okay. What's she? Sh I thought it would be considering the indentations on the door. There's an arrow that says go this way. That's probably a safe point right here. Two. All right. Let's see. I can play a tape. Oh, well, no, we've already played both of those. Hey, we got a map. Oh. I forgot the uh, the hitbox for interactables is like on top of each other. This place should be empty, but the lights are on and I hear something crawling around. Why keep the power on? Why? I can't fathom what this place even is. I tried to map it out, but it doesn't make sense. Got a hint that my map is going to be bullshit? I don't know. Kind of looks pretty good. And there are three circles on the map. One at the bottom right, top right, and then just above where I am right now. I wonder if that means anything. Is this locked? Yeah. Okay. That shit's locked too. Well, that's interesting. If that's locked... If they're both locked, maybe I gotta go back and try that other way first. This way, maybe? There is also a hallway that I didn't go down. What happens if I bump the chains? Nothing. Maybe? Okay, that says caution. Not a big fan of that. Clearly there's like some sort of rock slide or something over here. Uh. Well, shit. It's just nothing but locked doors, y'all. Okay. There's still more places we could try going, though. So we'll... Uh, let's see. We came in through there. We could try going through here. Hmm. Another caution. Wait, how do I... Can I go down? Okay. How do I... How about now? Oh, there we go. I actually have to turn around. Hmm. Okay. We got an X, and then just a regular door. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my dog. My dog's bark actually scared me a bit. Oh, that's not my dog. Yeah, nice try, beastie. Oh, God. This thing is angry. Oh, jeez. How am I doing? 72? Yikes. Yeah, you kind of, uh... Kind of gave up the ghost there, monster. monster. Um, I'm gonna switch to my shotgun, because that thing... That thing had girth. Um... But yeah, your mouth was opening before you even got to me. And by opening, I mean your entire head was split. Okay. That room is kind of set up for me to get around something, which is really weird. Okay, this is one of those emblems we need. There's a mine access key that'll hopefully open one of those doors that was locked. There's another caution symbol. Still don't know what those symbols mean. X seems to mean you can't get through here. Oh, there it is again. Hmm. 
and then it just kind of wanders away. How are we doing? Not great. Hopefully I don't get attacked again. If I run past the save room, I can try saving again, I guess. Okay. Back up the ladder. Okay. At least I got some stuff. I'm going to try the hammer on that monster if it shows up again, because shotgun and the gun don't seem to do great, but maybe the hammer will adjust its attitude a little faster. Okay, so we got some locked doors we could try. Let's look at the map again and see if we got rid of one of those symbols. No, it doesn't look like we did. Um, okay, well, we're near the room with the say. Wait, oh, shit, I got turned around a little bit. So that's where I just came from, down there. Okay. And that's the, okay. That's the door we can't get through. That's the little door. If I go this way, I'll get to a save. Here's the save. Well, I should probably get a uh, chat in front of me. Doesn't look like anybody's chatted yet. I got Twitch over here, but it's just not as visible. So hold up. I'm just going to chat on my phone. It's easier to look at. Put it right here in front of the monitor. Cuckoo! Alright. So I'm thinking maybe those symbols are just the locations of uh, the emblems I need, I'm thinking. Alright, let's try going up here. we got a key now, so maybe some of these locked doors we can get through. Nice. Weird monster thing might show up again. Okay. What I'm really worried about is like it's showing up and attacking me as soon as I get off the ladder or before I even get a chance to get off the ladder. I, w I want none of that. But we'll see. We'll see what he tries to do. I hear something down there. Oh, scary noises. Getting closer. There it is. All right. Monster Hammer Trial. I think it killed me. Okay. So, hammer, bad idea. That's okay. All right. Let's try. Let me switch to knife. See how that works. Before we go down this ladder, I'm going to get one more look at the map. So it looks like if we go to right, to the right, where the monster came from, that's where the mark is. Unfortunately, of course it is, but that's okay. We, I'd rather take care of the monster now than have to worry about him later, so let's go for it. his ass. Or at least try. See how well we do. 
Let's go. You want some? I ain't scared of you. All right. Clearly, we have to use a gun. I went in, and that monster wasn't having it. Another thing I could try to do is run, which is probably the smart thing to do. All right. The Ruger seems to be the best gun for this monster, though. If anything, I get a few hits off before it uh, comes up and attacks me, which is good. How am I doing my health uh, at 100? Okay, I assume I was at the other times, too. Yeah, I killed it with shotgun, but I ended up with a lot less health. I think I got like 30 hits, 30 HP on me when I had the gun, and like 60 when I had the shotgun, and then of course it immediately murdered me with the melee weapons. They're pretty effective against the worms, though, like the knife is. It one-shots them. I think the bullets do too, but might as well save bullets for guys like this. See, look at that. Look at that. He can't deal. He can't hang with this, son. I wish you would try something. You get more of these bullets. Alright. I feel like as soon as I get back out of this room, he's going to be waiting for me again. Ugh. Uh, okay. How do I get through here? Um. Oh, there's a way over there. Okay. Let me check the map again. Okay, I can go through... Okay, alright. Let's see what we gotta do. Probably should look at the map closer earlier. Just wait for him to show up here. Come on, I know you're there. Let me whistle at you. Oh, he, he is very pissed. He is very pissed. He came around the corner and he's like, man, I wish you would whistle at me one more time. Oh my gosh. I am sorry that I whistled at you. I made a mistake. How am I doing on health? Yeah, that wasn't great. I might not survive another hit here. Which is probably well and good, because I used up a lot of ammo. Why would they listen? I told everyone, but no, no one listens to me. I can't trust anyone. They're all just serving the monsters. No one is different. It's just me now. Wouldn't they just listen? Okay. Well... Just serving the monsters. What you gonna do? Alright. Yeah, I could go running around, but I feel like that monster is crazy fast. Oh well, we'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario, we have to come down here one more time to grab the emblem. Broken? Why can't I get through here? Shit, okay. Okay. Yeah, don't I know it. Okay, it's just a dead end, right? Yeah. Okay, that, yeah, it was dead end too. Is that also a dead end? Maybe. Reload. Yeah, it's also a dead end. Okay. There was literally nothing down here but the moon amulet. Oh, shit. I think it came back? Oh, shit. Yeah. That thing does not permanently die. Woo! Come on now. Oh, God! That thing is coming after me. 
Hi. There's another thing I saw there. Just a flash of an image. Good times. Yeesh. Let's go save. Thank you for the ammo. I sorely needed it. Okay. Let's save. And then the emblem room is over here, I think. We'll go ahead and pop the emblem in. Might as well. While we're here. Here you go. Alright, we just need one more. Let me check the map. We've been down. We've been up. We should go... Can we go straight across? I can't remember if that was closed off or not. Let's take a look. It would mean going in this door. Is this door locked? No, it's not. Okay. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. Just gonna back out. Well, kind of looks like we have to go down there. All right, it's fine. We got plenty of bullets. We just saved the game. No need to chicken out now. We faced this guy. A couple of well-placed shots. We didn't even see him. Isn't that great? Okay, let me check my map. Oh, good. We're in the right room and everything. Excellent. I'm sure everything will go smoothly from now on. I thought I'd be safe down here. I'm so far away from those monsters up above. But even down here, I'm not alone. True story. For some reason, that monster isn't showing up very well, though. And I'm not mad. Oh, God. He found me. But it was too little, too late. You stupid monster. There's probably a cassette tape in one of those extra rooms, but I am not in the mood to explore. I'm in the mood to get to the end of this game. Even though those cassette tapes are kind of cool. If I was playing this casually, I'd probably go get them. But seeing as how this is likely the last episode, I kind of want to just power through. Alright. What we got here? The zoomy testing, huh? Thank you for the ammo. Wait, what's this? It's the dead plant. That's obviously the save room. <clears throat> Alright. Keep waiting on the day it tries to pull that trick on me again. Where it tells me it deleted my save. But I feel like it wouldn't try to pull that twice. Dr. Brundle. Personal Archive. 86. Feeling good about today. Progress continues almost at an alarming rate. Given how theoretical this all should be. Today we had one of the smaller rodents continue to move for almost two hours after all of its blood had been drained and replaced with mix PA2212, whatever, whatever. Hey, that's kind of gross. Oh, I just crouched for no reason. I hate that I hear footsteps. Oh my god, I hear footsteps and I hate it. I guess I'll try in all these labs. I have a map, right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them. That's not great. Sink just coming on. Alright. Baby Dal head. Oh, 
Okay. You. What else we got? I feel like I can hear a phone ringing. What we got here? Person RKBD. I'm beginning to question my fellow scientists' ethics. If we can truly call any of this science anymore, I fear we are all stumbling into something dark, and with each breakthrough, my fear grows. I don't know. I am! I am! I'm having a good time with it, actually. Thank you for suggesting it again. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I don't know how they'll react when we inevitably hit a dead end with these experiments. Yeah, I've actually been playing it for the past few weeks. This is episode three. I'm definitely up for another recommendation if you have it. Let's see. Because this has been great. I've actually had a lot of fun with it. Whoa, God! Ah! No! Bad! Bad! Oh, you haven't played it? It's, man, it's, um, it's creepy. Episode 2, I ran across these worm enemies, and they just shook me to my core. <laughs> these things aren't great either. But, uh, it, I mean, it sounds cliche to say, but it feels a lot like, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the dev totally came a long way from Spookies. And the game feels a lot like Silent Hill, like in the first person. There's these tapes you can find that kind of piece together some of your history. I feel like I'm, I may be playing as somebody who got pregnant and either lost the baby or like was forced to try to to lose the baby so to speak like it sounds pretty heavy um but the whole plot kicks off of course because you lose your dog today i questioned the higher staff just on how far they think they can go with these experiments dr Piccaninny told took hold of me and brought me into one of the off-limits rooms and showed me something i don't fully understand maybe he was playing an elaborate and inappropriate prank Picking and he told me that it was his other pet project and assured me that the work we're doing is of great importance. Uh, oh, the DLCs for Spookies. Yeah, you had made mention about it. I haven't gotten around to playing them yet. I probably will. Um, because I'm having such a good time with this. Uh, so, yeah, I do remember you mentioning them. They're on my radar. But, uh, we will see. I showed Satiris to Dr. Brundle today. He didn't know what to think. He just stared at it. Maybe he was just scared. Satiris is moving now, but only barely. For some reason, I can't get him to function while the camera is on or while I'm looking at him, but he changes form in between these moments. Her. Cool. Let me reload real quick before we go through the door. All right, let's see. I'm trying to remember where I went. Okay, I went to lab and I went down this hallway. Um, lab two A. I think that's what I just came out of. No, that no, that's lab. That's lockers. Okay, hold on. Lockers one. Okay, that's where I came out. Of. So I can probably do this. I can sweep the room and there's... And I, oh, I forgot. The hit detection on these doors. Even if you're turned around. Yeah, that's the only thing, like... If interactables are placed too close together, you'll just... Activate both of them. You'll activate both of them. Um, and so it, you have to be very specific about... Jesus Christ... Uh, about uh, interacting with um, this kind of looks like Jack Skellington's dog. I mean, it's because it is basically just a skull. That's sad. Um, let's see. We've done it. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. There are these are not creations that should exist. I don't know if we screwed something up along the way or if this was the only possible outcome. These monstrosities were created in a lab using puppies and babies. Which is very disturbing. Use. Oh, the baby doll head. Okay. Oh. It crushed my head. Keep going. Does it kill you? No, it doesn't kill you. 
Oh, okay. That was actually pretty cool. All right. Uh, Dr. Piccaninny, personal archive. My dear savior is growing every day. I started stealing some of the rats from their tiny safe cages and put them in the hole with the satyrus. At first I wasn't sure if they would do anything, but once I left and came back, the rats were gone. The only traces of the rats left was a lipstick smear of blood on Sotiris' jaw. Okay. Uh-oh. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I want to reload. Okay, there it goes. It wasn't reloading for some reason. All right, let's try that again. Sounds like it's jumping off in here. Gotta be careful. Nope. Bye. <laughs> I'm not messing with that right now. There's like monsters in every single one of these rooms, though, it feels like. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, the glass fell over. Why? Whew, okay. Well, oh, we got a cassette tape. Lost tape number three. Cool. That means I didn't miss a tape. There's only four in the entire game, so... At least I think there's only four. Dr. GLA, Subject Cast 3 was originally found in the wreckage of a collapsed farmhouse by a mountain survey team. It was later brought to government attention after most of the crew went missing and then granted to our lab for testing. It appears like a normal cassette tape, but has some major differences. Spectrogram displays that the audio contained do not seem to match the structure or waveform, of the actual sound, but rather several images of American animal life and trees. Some researchers who spent significant time listening to the subject have been hospitali hospitalized for mental reasons, often becoming obsessed with a fictional being known as Biagatov. Sounds like an ancient demon. Biagatov. wonder if it's like a real one. I mean, I mean, like in actual folklore or whatever, or if it's made up for the game. Whoop. Nothing in here. Nothing in here but lore. Oh, wait. In that tape. Okay. Something's in this next room. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. We got to go back out. This is not the room I want to be in. Okay. Um... So I've been through all of those. I'll pop out here and we'll try Dr. Piccaninny's office because I've already been in Lab 1C. At least I think I... I should check Lab 1C again because I don't remember if I actually have been in there or not. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. Okay. All right. We're, we're okay. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay. Wishish. Dr. Piccaninny. Sh shrieks and squeals are all I hear. My dreams are infested with these rats. If only they knew what that they that we are going to make them into something beautiful. If they knew that and had the capacity to, they would respect me. But no. It's nothing but screams and wailing. I can't sleep. I can hardly think, even when I'm further away than the sound should possibly be able to travel. I can still hear them. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's a staple of the survival horror genre, you know? Shit's locked. I <laughs> sing it all the time. Um, I think I, it's just, you're gonna come to expect... See, this is what I'm talking about. I gotta get really close. There we go. Dead rats. Alright. Mo dead rats. Alright, we didn't get anything in this room except for a lore dump, but that's okay. Okay. All right. Housing 1C. All right. Just imagine my character like, hoo, hoo, here we go. <laughs> Getting psyched up to go in this room full of monsters. No! Whoa, whoa, it's broken! Ha! Ah, it's broken! Whoa, whoa! Oh, it's locked. Okay. All right. Okay, you're quick. You're quick. Why aren't you dead? Oh. Okay. I can't tell if it's alive or not, but screw it. Please open, please open, please open, please open success. 
I'm still making monster noises like it was a lie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who this? What room am I in? Dr. Brundle. Poor guy. He was actually... I think he was like the one that was not down with these experiments. He was like, we... What have we done? What madness have we wrought? Dr. Brundle, you're, you've seen better days. Oh! Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. You look great. Whew. Okay. Oh. Oh. Debug. Invalid class. What happening? Is it doing that psychological crap on me again? Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, Dr. Brundle, we can't get out of here. The halls are full of them. Yeah. They are worshipping Piccaninny's messed up pet. They swarm around just like rats. Don't they, though? This poor guy probably starved to death in here, I bet. What we got? What we got? Nothing. So I just got bullets and more lore. Pick up. What, the body? Alright. Oh, I am heavy. Eyeless body, FBX picked. What is happening? Yeah, no, like, it's, it gets, it, there are some really scary parts in here, man. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, crap. Hold on. I need to check my map first. I need to get a game plan together before I... Okay. Um, alright. We can try to, oh, there's the lobby. And I think there's a cassette player in there, so I can play the cassette I got. Okay, I just need to hop out and go to the right... I don't think I went into Lab 1B yet, but it might be locked. Let's just try to go save first. I'm still alive, and that's a good thing. So I'm just going to roll through. Oh my god! There we go. I'm going to save. Dang, they're just outside the save room. That don't usually happen. Uh, where's the tape player? There it is. So I'm gonna play a tape before I get my butt chewed off. There we go. Yeah, the tapes are usually frightening, terrifying, nonsensical hellscapes. So this should be good times. The first one I was at kind of felt like it was the memory of me picking up my dog at a shelter, maybe? Uh, but it was a very messed up shelter with very scary dog ghosts. And then the second one, we were at, like, a hospital. Burn the idol. Must stop it. Matches. Okay, I'll burn it. There hasn't actually been a whole lot of interactable gameplay in these yet, other than witnessing scenes and then interacting with these. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Can you fail the tape? Took our sun. Alright, I'm just gonna get back in here where it's nice and safe and cozy. I can still whistle even in the cassette tape, that's funny. food left. Oh, that's not good. You don't want no food in the cabins. Out here in the wilderness. With just you and your tasty relatives. That's bad news. Uh, okay. Anything in there? No. Okay. Have to pray to it. Gives us flesh. Rolls. Okay, maybe I gotta go put something on that altar. Is that? Oh, it's just a tree. All right, let's go upstairs. This reminds me a little bit of the ritual. It's this uh, horror movie on Netflix about these guys who take a vacation to Sweden, I think, but it's like in the mountains, and they take a detour because one of them jacks up his leg. To try to like cut through a forest 
and they like literally bump into like an abandoned house like this and there's an idol in the top room and they all go to sleep and they wake up having nightmares and one dude's like naked and he's worshiping the idol and they're like what are you doing he's like i don't know man it's actually pretty sweet they end up incorporating like elder gods and weird stuff okay oh i can go this way that's right Okay. Put. Oh, maybe I gotta use my inventory. You can't use your inventory in a tape, can you? No. Oh, okay. That's good to know. So this is pretty similar to the final DLC for Spookies. I definitely should check it out. Yeah, you could probably really just map out, like, um... What do I do here? I picked up the idol, but... Hmm. A few things are. We, well, yeah. uh... Okay. I'm not really sure what to do. I've never been stuck in one of these tapes before. They're usually pretty simple. Hmm. Let's go back upstairs for a sec. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. We'll figure it out. I got this far. I mean, this is clearly an altar just like the one downstairs. Usually you just kind of press E to interact. Or you press I for your inventory, but that's not opening up. Which I didn't expect that it would. But I also didn't expect to be picking things up in the tapes. I haven't done that before. Maybe if I interact with the, the light? It's not letting me do it. I have to pray to it. Gives us flesh. Okay. Maybe I gotta be like right up on it? Or... Oh, I hope I'm not stuck. That would suck. Let's see if I can get all up in its face. No? Okay. Alright. Uh, go around and try to talk to all the thingies again. Maybe I'll get a clue. This one's not lit. Can I interact with it? I got matches. No. Oh, I need firewood. Okay, here we go. Of specimen eight. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So he's kind of building a little universe here. That's neat. Which one was Specimen 8 again? I can't remember, just off of memory. Find some firewood. The tree is... The tree is moving without any wind. Okay. Oh, there's some firewood we need. Noise. We're making progress. Burn the idol. I burned it. The plant got knocked over. Okay. I'm going to go to a... Uh... Oh, the deer god. Oh, okay, the deer lord thing. So the one that was like, that you ran to in the woods. 
Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't have a map of this area. What? Oh, because I'm in the save? That's weird. Okay, if I go forward and to the right, I can get to a room. Yellow! Computer lab. Don't think I've been in here yet. Look around for some clues. Oh god, what? What? Why? What are you doing? Don't do that. Okay. Okay. Just gonna look around. More stuff. Dr. Piccaninny. My dreams have found their savior. A dark creature swathed in dirty robes now lives within them. They eat the rats and silence the screaming. Soon I will begin work. Not this filthy government's rat work. Uh, but my true work. I will give birth to my savior so they can silence everything. Anyway, they can silence everything. The dear, the dear lord. Sorry, I was just reading your note again. Just making sure that uh, I read it correctly. Alright. Well, that was more lore dump. Um, I'll try going down that hallway again. I don't know if I went all the way to the end. That's the only thing I can think of to do. I already went into like the locked doors and things. I have a body, though. Didn't the... The lore dump said something about putting a body somewhere, I feel like. I don't know. I'm going to have to go around to the rooms again and figure it out. Oh, I don't... I don't... Man, these things are strong. Yeesh. How am I doing on health? Not great. No, I don't, I don't think that was a spoiler. I think it's a nice little Easter egg because it connects to Spookies. Which is kind of cool. Um, doesn't really say much about the plot of this game. We're still a character that's grieving. Like, clearly this is an allegory for grief of, of some sort. Um, and there's been like major hints about loss. Uh, let's see. Been here before. Where does that map lead out? Okay. Okay, so if I go out here and I turn left down the hallway, we can see if there's anything at the end. The map's cut off. So I'm guessing that's the only place we have to go. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, these poor things. Oh, they're not? Okay. Yeah. They're interesting. I like that I like that they've been added cuz not that the game doesn't already get crazy wild, but it gives the game the chance to get even wilder if it wants. Oh god, my dog. Oh, dog jump scare. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, Danny. How you doing, baby? Oh, I found you. That's good news. Oh. Look at his dog. Why are you scaring me like that? Oh, I can pet. Yes. You can pet the dog in Lost in Vivo. Uh, okay. Jesus, dog. Okay. Dr. Brundle. Dr. Piccaninny went crazy. He attacked me in my office, screaming about sacrifice. I hit him over the head and he lost consciousness, but I confirmed he's still alive. I'm going to try to get out of here using the flood tunnels connected to the... Oh, maybe that was picking any in the office. Wait, where am I? Oh, there you are. Oh. Wait. Is this a thing you just dropped for me? Can I get to it without heading you? Okay, let me just go over here. You going to follow me? Who's your good doggo? Okay, I'm going to go this way. Can I grab this? No. It's just on the ground. 
You know what? Yeah, adding them later or, or updating it in phases, that kind of makes sense. It fits with the development of Spookies, for sure. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Where's my dog? Oh. Are you shitting me? Again? Should have picked my dog up. That sucks. I can't go down there. I, I won't fit. Aww. A <laughs> big pile of crap from the dog. Yeah, not quite. I don't think. If it is, I need to seriously can reconsider when I'm feeding that dog. Oh my god. Broken. It seemed taller all of a sudden. Am I lifted off the ground? I'm like way too tall. Broken. I might not have floated back down from the water, raising me up maybe. Uh -uh. What what that what that is? Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. No map? Yeah, no map. Okay. Well, let's go exploring. Yeah, I don't have any keys or lockpicks just yet. Inventory full. Uh, no, thank you. All right. Okay. It took me a while to figure out how to do this. You just hold the button down and just wait. <laughs> it's more of a way to like get you in front of the door and get you waiting in case you're being chased, which they did. They did pull that on me a couple of times, and it wasn't great. <laughs> Broken. I literally just came in here for ammo? Seriously? Okay. Well. Oh, no. That's the guy I was carrying. He got up. Is that picking any? Or is that Brundle? I don't know. I'm going to save it again. I'm almost out of here, but Piccaninny's pet is in the warehouse by the emergency exit. It won't move while I'm staring at it, but when I try to look away, it seems to reappear somewhere within a closer radius. If someone finds this, please be careful as the creature may still be around. Great. I gotta stare at a monster now. Oh. Well, hello. Gonna, gonna, just gonna, gonna, gonna shoot you. That didn't work. Guess I shouldn't have expected it to work. It's picking in his, uh, picking in his pet, huh? Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Retinal scan, eh? Oh, hey, there he is. There's my buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna just, um. What you pointing at? Hmm? Okay. Just gonna. Just gonna go this way now. It looks like as long as I look in its direction, it won't reappear. 
Yep, it's still there. Still there. Still. Still there. Okay. Okie dokie. Right? You gotta go. Okay. Yeah, it's it's how a lot of like monsters in classic uh like indie and steam horror games worked too. Honestly. Like SCP containment breach, that I think that's what it was called, that old game. There was a monster where like you had to look at it and if you didn't, like it would it would come at you. In fact, is that our friend? It is. Hey bud. How you doing? Oh god. We're, oh god. Okay, I looked away. That was a bad idea. I'm just gonna go this way now. Oh my god. Where is it now? Oh, there he is. He's just... Peanut. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know what's up. Yeah, I wasn't in the scene at the time as far as, like, playing games because I didn't have a computer at the time, but I watched a lot of YouTube. Um... And I followed some guys that were into games like this, like Jordan Underneath. I miss that guy. Um, and it was their jam. And I just liked watching videos about the lore and stuff. Thought it was pretty neat stuff. Oh my god. Ha! Huh. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? What a good. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go this way now. Oh god. Why I do that? All right. I wish I could just kill this thing and be done with it so I could walk around freely. Oh, okay. No. It's really awkward to go backwards and sideways. I don't like it. I wish I had a map. Yeah, from, like, Doctor Who. Yeah, screw those things. I do not like them. That whole concept is freaky. Yeah, where is this stupid monster? This thing is, like, I don't see... Did I go right or left the first time? I can't even remember. All right, hold on. I'm going to try to go right. Okay. We're in a new spot. Whatever it is, it ain't crazy fast. Watch it, like, materially rise right behind me. But, like, I can kind of get around without having to stare. See? Okay. All right. All right. Clever. Cute. Even. Oh, he is right in my way, too. Okay, now he's not. Cool. Bye! Where is he? Oh, man, this is a great place for him to hide. There isn't anything in these rooms. I just need to find the thing. Wait, pick up. Missing left... There... Oh! Hi! Okay, we have the eye we need for the retinal scan. So now I'm gonna leave. Bye-bye. All right, I'm just gonna run. Oh God. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. You're right. That was a mistake. Why did I do that? Respect. Um. So here's the thing, man. Kind of. Kind of need to go that way. All right. I'm just gonna go this way. If I can get him to. Oh God. He got me. Damn it. Damn. All right. So much for that. Usually I get the, uh... Oh, I'm hearing a noise here. So usually I get the death screen pretty quick, but it's taking its time. Probably queuing up for a jump scare. Oh, no. Oh, I'm paralyzed and the rats are going to eat me alive. That sucks. It's not great.
Oh, man. At least I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. sure I'd... Yeah, okay. Make sure I don't still have it in my inventory. I don't. Okay. okay I need to go this way. Just pray I can go get this and come back and not have it like appear right in front of me like where I can't stop. What? It's in a different meat pile every time? Oh, that sucks. Okay, now I gotta remember like where else I've seen meat piles. Oh, there he is. There's our friend. Spooky man. Spookerino. Oh god. He got real close there. Okay. Go in here and see if we can find another pile of flesh. There it is. Okay, we got the eye. Try to be real careful. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. You stay there. You stay right there. I'm just gonna leave. And you gonna stay right there. Yeah. Okay. Got the eyeball. Just need to get to the retina scanner. Oh, there he is again. Cheeky. It's getting closer. Yeah, I can't find the door. There we go. There's the door. Okay. Run! Oh, damn it. He got me again, I guess. Oh, he took his eye back. Oh, maybe he didn't. I think he's showing me that he wants the eye. I don't remember these boxes being in here. God. Oh my god. I don't like this. Oh, thank you. Peace out, stupid monster. Elevators are spooky. We're going way up. Oh, bros. Lost in vivo. What? That can't be the ending. What about my doggo? Aw, oh, my poor little baby. He better be at the top of this elevator, I swear. It could be a false credit sequence, maybe. I don't know. Oh, the 3D art was by the monster. Cute. That's what they said in the, uh, the Brundle picking any notes. Yeah, yeah, there are. I saw that with the um, the achievements in Steam. There's a bad ending, there's a good ending. Apparently more people get the good ending. So it must be not super difficult to get. Oh, that's funny. 
they put my, um, I think I used my email, email username in the credits. They actually enter your name into the credits, that's neat. Blood by. The time is late. Yeah, this might not be the ending. The credits are getting creepy. Savior of rats. So Terrace, yeah. And I'm dropping. The need for eyes. Oh god. I threw up some bugs. Is an unquenchable hunger. Oh my goodness, yes it is. to shoot him it didn't really work out he does have a need for eyes though true it's insatiable no doggo that's too bad shotgun shotgun all right i'm gonna go in here and save real quick yeah, i guess it couldn't be over because i only just got the third tape I like the little spooky things that this game does with the save room sometimes. Not very often, but like the flash of a fetus earlier, it, it's done other stuff. Like episode two, like last week, it did some really crazy stuff with saving, and I was like, I'm just not going to be a part three. I was real upset. Uh, let's see. If the power goes out on the tracks, you have to reboot the whole system in order to do that. Oh, that's interesting. This is an old note from the beginning when I was in a train station. I've barely been able to keep the power on, so that's about all the advice. Besides giving up. That I can give. Okay. Map. You are here. In this room. There's a G, there's two G's, three flame symbols. I don't know what that means. Okay. Kinda looks like I should be able to go through this door, but all I get is the read. Yeah. Okay. That's alright, we'll try other stuff. There's our cassette play or cassette tape player. Alright, let's see what's behind door number one. How are we doing? Okay. There's a G in here, and then at the end there's one of those flame symbols. Whatever that means. Can't get through there. There we go. On the environment a little bit there. if I didn't flick that before I went over. Maybe I would have got grabbed by something. That reminds me of Code Veronica. I think there was a section in Resident Evil where you had to electrify water to kill a monster in it before you could get through. I think that was Code Veronica. can't remember exactly. Alright, let me check my map again. 
go through all these tunnels. Okay. A secret tunnel. Spooky Stories for Kids, Volume 1. Once there lived a nasty old man in a nasty old house. The nasty old man wouldn't go outside. The nasty old man wouldn't play. He sat in his tub and soaked in the water all day. Just him and his music enjoying the water even though it was nasty and green. He soaked all day and every night, but he never tried to get clean. But one day the old man couldn't find his music. His radio was all filled with static. He twisted and turned and tried all the stations, and things got a little dramatic. His radio fell down into the water, and he missed the off switch. And the story goes that if you visit his house, his nasty old corpse will still twitch. Ooh, the nasty. Nasty old corpse. Where are we now? Okay. Going towards that fire! I don't know what the fire is. Oh, dear. Oh god, what is this thing? Looks like a brain with a mouth. What are you hoping to accomplish? Well, I was uh You're just hollow. Just hoping to find my dog. You need fear to motivate you. That's what I think about your stupid speech. So take that. Alright, anyways. Is that fire thing still on the it is still on the map. I wish the map would update and, like, remove... Oh. Hello. It sounds like a monster's behind me, and I really don't want to mess with that right now, so I'm just going to keep moving. Just going to keep moving. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Hey, I found the lost tape. That's cool. That's great. How do I get out of here? Oh, I well, I just screwed myself. Maybe he won't find me. He found me. Ah! No! Go get the tape. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. Now I know the, where the creature from the cover art I used came from. Uh, let's see. Nothing to see here, just some bugs banging in cups. Alright, let's check out this last tape. Where's the, oh, there it is. I need to sleep. Excuse me. Hello. 
like a room for the night. Warm bed, shave, haircut, some beer, shot of whiskey, some oats from a horse, a brand new hat, an outfit, supplies, go upstairs. Shit's locked. Something is holding it shut. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Oh, man. My kid's obsessed with that game. He loves it so much. I'm actually excited for uh, Super Mario 3D World to come out tomorrow. He's a he's a Mario mark. He's going to lose his crap. And it's got that game mode with Bowser Jr. So a younger kid can kind of control that. Reminds me of like when you can control Tails instead of Sonic. Or I should say with Sonic. Uh, like, not Player 2, but Player 1.5. Oh. Oh. This kind of reminds me of Silent Hill 4. Where does the tunnel and the bathroom lead? Leads to some scary shit. Hello? Yeah, no shit. Alright, let's see. Uh, was this the way I came? Can't remember. Maybe not. Officially all turned around and lost. That's great. Oh, this place is open. Tiny bathroom. Oh, well, that's what we look like. We are a ghosty ghost. It's the first mirror that actually worked. I mean, somewhat. Oh, well, hold on. There's something to examine in this room. This bed looks clean. I could sleep here. Let's do it. Sleep in the bed. Sleep in the bed. Oh, it's covered in bugs. Ooh, that's nasty. I should take a shower. Am I covered in bugs? Nope, I'm still good. Okay, I guess we leave then. Salmon. What am I supposed to examine? It's wet and putrid. I can't sleep here. I gotta find more places to sleep? Something is sleeping here. Okay. Okay. I threw up in the bathtub or something. Shit's locked. Shit, it's locked. It's locked. How about this bed? Oh, it's, it's the one covered in bugs. Is that the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, no... No, duh. Go this way. Someone has poured gas all over this. Okay. Gas all over that one, too. Hey, look, it's an Arizona iced tea. But I almost saw the logo on the side. It just says extreme. Extreme tea with flowers on the side. So extreme. Try going upstairs. I thought I already went upstairs. How about this bed? This bed looks clean. I could sleep here. Let's do it. Oh, we got bugs on it too. It's filthy. Filthy bed. Alright. Keep looking. What the... 
What's that sound? Store don't even react. It's got no prompt. How about this bed? It's soaked with tar. Hmm. Oh, there's the whole hidey hole again. Maybe this is the one that I... This is how I got back downstairs. No, maybe this is how I got down. I remember going down this way. Okay, yeah, because at the end of that hidey hole was like a... A voice or whatever saying it's a nightmare. I remember that now. Alright, let's just try going from here then and hitting all the doors in a circle. I actually hit them across my way too, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Bugs got bed. Got bed bugs. No prompt there. This door. Yeah, this is new. Some Twin Peaks. This chair looks clean. I could sleep here. Oh, no. It's real nasty in here now. What I say? Disgusting. Ugh. I think I am the gross one now. Okay, maybe not. So I got flies coming around me. Hello. Let me sleep. The bed is coated in soot. Okay. Some candles in here to make it romantic. Oh, I'm a bug now. That's not great. Recognize that red shirt. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's pretty iconic. Uh, I think I was... Yeah, I came this way. Oh, hey. Is this the... Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to try going back this way again. This is the room I was just in. It smells of death. I can't wake up. No, this is different. Still a bug. Nasty bug bed again. Go laundry room. Something is in there. Yeah, it'll look nasty. What's in here? Nothing. Stairs again. Same place. circle's not really getting anywhere here. I mean, I am a bug now. I wonder if I'm okay to sleep on a bed, a bug bed if I'm up. No. Okay. Oh, God. Something just killed me. What was that thing? Nice, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. Just came at me, bro. Alright, we're 
going to save real quick. I think we're going to pack it in for the night. And uh, I was thinking about discontinuing it, but I'm every time I think about it, this game pulls me back in. I'm getting kind of interested and intrigued by it. So next week, we are going to try to get past that big giant thingy and go around and... What the... I totally have a map of this area. What's that about? Oh, maybe it's because it's not. It doesn't activate until I get past there. But yeah, we'll we'll go try to shoot all those things and hopefully get to the ending of this thing. I feel like we're really close because we've gotten all the tapes now. So hopefully next week will be us uh, seeing one of the endings, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out what to play after that. Maybe some DLC for Spookies. Who knows? Thanks for joining me for those who did, and we will see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you.